How do you compensate for those extra hours outside of the typical nine to five? Um, uh, in like your personal life balance? Well, as I said, I, I don't, I, I feel like I work really hard when I, when I need to, and then I'm, I'm comfortable taking a, a good break. And I, I, I've just learned that really in the last four or five years. During the day, I might go and have a three hour lunch with some friends. And that's just, uh, that's, that's not a normal thing, right? But a couple of times, uh, um, maybe a couple of times a month to, that's how I might make up for it. Or, um, I might go shopping, do a couple errands in the day and, I might take longer, a longer break in the day and, and then make up for that. But I, I really, I never think about an eight hour day or a six hour day or 10 hour day. I don't think that way. Um, and I, I do try to get a good night's sleep. I think that's really critical. And, um, I try to eat really healthy. And, um, what I try to do is, um, find my ways to relax. So in the evening, when after, when I when I'm finished with the work and finished dinner and everything, before I when I go to bed I might um, listen to move watch a movie. I discovered Netflix during the pandemic, and so that's kind of my new way to relax, and I like that. And then um, I think it's a good idea to take vacation, take your time, which I've I will be honest with you, I I really never always took on my vacations, and um, I but I think it's a good idea to do that. You owe it to yourself. I think and I'm you fascinated that people. I, I think what people should do is they should, when they go on vacation, I'm not saying I do it, but I think they should say an out, send an out of office notification because I really think it's fair that you don't respond. You don't, you don't look at your emails and, and, and work during your vacation time. I really believe that. And I'm, like I said, I'm not good at that, but I'm going to try to learn. <laughs> I feel so pretty cool. similarly. I think that um, we make up for that when we're, you know, traveling personally, right? Um, mm -hmm. In my um, company where I am now, we have a kind of program where if we travel or if we're on an event over the weekend, so we're utilizing one of those weekend days that would be elsewise used personally, then we have an extra day that we can take off within the next two weeks. That's great. Um, and so, yeah, so it really is makes it easy to take a quick weekend trip or something to really escape right. um, for all those extra hours that were put in. Um, and in terms of how to, having an out of office email, I completely agree. I put it on. Am I still checking? Yes, probably. Um, <laughs> but I think it's just natural. Uh, you know, I just kind of want to see what's going on. Uh, I think something that's helpful also is having um, a backup you know, on your out of office, if something is um, needing immediate attention, please reach out to X and this is their contact information. Totally. I think it gives me some, right. um, you know, peace of mind right. that everything, nothing will burn and everything will be okay when I get back. Um, and it right. kind that's of lets good. me relax for a minute. So that's something I think yeah. definitely helps me escape when I'm taking time off. Yeah, that's good. You know, the other thing I think we have to acknowledge is that it's pretty impossible for us to be really productive for more than eight hours a day. I mean, it's, it's been proven. And um, so I think people need to keep that in mind. And I also think that um, one thing I've learned is that we don't have to do everything 100%. Uh, it's hard because I'm a perfectionist, so I've always kind of wanted to be 100%. But I remember my my chairman, he it was really cute what he did one day. He said, Valerie, this is this is a hundred percent, eight and a half by eleven piece of paper. And then he took a piece of legal paper and he goes, This is what you do. <laughs> but anyway, he said, This is all you have to do. He went like this. This is a hundred percent. Legal is what you do, you think you do, you think you have to do, but you only have to do the eighty percent. Because really, uh, most people don't notice all the imperfections that we might notice. And all those little things that we think are so important are not. And so it's really better to focus on that 80% and, and get that right. But I really, I love that analogy. And he, that was something he, he did, to, gave to me like 
25, 26 years ago. <laughs> Isn't that a great one? Yeah, I really love that. I think that sometimes we're like we were talking about, we're on multiple different events, multiple different projects. And sometimes something only needs, you know, 20%. Sometimes it needs 100%, but really knowing when something yep. needs what I think is super important. Right. And if you try to put 100% into everything, um, you're going to have no balance, right? So I think that's, that's a it. great point. 